<laughs> right on cue. <laughs> wow. Welcome. Welcome, 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 everybody. Carol it's good Ward Wise is taped in front of a live studio audience. <clears throat> of Randy's phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm scrolling through my... I'm Speaking of phones, I'm scrolling through my phone just making sure there's no breaking news that we have yeah, to get through. I'm looking. I'm doing the same. All right. So this week, it's always easy for me to remember sponsors when their food is right in front of my face. Mm. And there's a lot. And there's of a food. lot of it. In my there's belly. a lot. Oh my god! Yeah. Is there a lot of it? Uh, so it was Rock Salt. Rock Salt. Finally, Rock Salt is our sponsor. I think. Wait, we are we just gone. gonna shut down the podcast right now? Because this is all you really wanted out of this podcast. <laughs> well, and our, right. our last sponsor. Actually, all of our sponsors are all of my favorite restaurants. Uh-huh. So that was kind of a, that was kind of a personal thing there. But if you notice, we've only gotten top tier restaurants so far. But Rock Salt is definitely no exception. They are the pride of Main Street. What do you guys think? Fantastic. I was blown away. It's super. I mean, I've been to Rock Salt before, <clears throat> so it's not a surprise. I, I like. Well, I had it. not had any of these entrees though. Right. Rock Salt before. I get the wings. I get the crab legs. I get the standards. Who knew? We had a one of the things was a ribeye. It's delicious. Uh, somebody was asking about who has the best steaks, and yeah, Rock Salt's got to be up there, because they're this steak it's, it, was well, amazing. It's, it's seasoned. I don't know what they did with seasons. The wrong word. It's flavor marinated. 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 Yeah, it was, it was marinated, marinated differently than I've time. ever tasted yeah, it was before. Yeah, like, like what do you think that was? Like a wine, I, I'm red not, wine. I'm not the guy to ask. It just has to be good, and it was. It was really good, <clears throat> and that stuffed rockfish was stuffed with I think crab meat and it's ba- crab imperial, crab imperial, and baby giggles and butterfly kisses and just everything wonderful. What else did we have? We had, uh, oh, the cream of crab soup. We had both soups. And very Maryland good. crab. Maryland and Maryland crab. crab. Very yeah. good. And then we had some sort of a, a seafood a club. Seafood club with shrimp and it had bacon. Everything in it. I'm not. So let me just full disclosure. I'm not a shrimp salad guy, mm. but that seafood club was very good, and it retained the character of a club sandwich. Like I ate it, and I was like, this does. This is a seafood club. Sometimes they're like, people get crazy, like, oh, this is gonna be my like artisanal. Dairy cheese steak with no meat. And it's like, well, this is just like a slice of cheese on bread, right? But yeah. this was like a club sandwich <clears throat> right. with yeah. seafood ingredients. Yeah. And it was very good. very good. And like, how do you guys feel? Like, I feel really good. <laughs> a lot of restaurants you eat at, and when you stuff yourself, you feel like crap. Right. Well, you can feel your blood pressure and cholesterol raised, you know? Well, I had a Coke, and then they gave us desserts without asking <sighs> to. Desserts. So I do feel like I ate a dessert. Well, yes, but I'm just saying I feel really good after eating their food. Yeah. Well, that means they're made with good ingredients. And it's good for oh, you. Oh yeah, no, it's high quality. The peanut oh, yeah. butter bomb was incredible. Okay, let me. Like, can we talk about that for a second? No, because I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried they have this new carryout location on the corner of Bond and Main Street now. Yes. We're we just going to eat that for lunch every day. We should mention. I'm very worried that they're going to have that available. At the carryout because I'm done. If so you know if it's that, that easy for me to get. That store is always shutting down because of the drug addicts. Yeah. You're gonna be out there scratching your neck asking for peanut butter bombs. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on the curb, <laughs> leaning over with peanut butter down my down my you're face. You're gonna be one of the mentally departed. Yeah. I'm go- uh, yes, and happily too. Kind of, kind of like you with the shrimp salad. I, I'm generally not going to order peanut butter. Just nothing wrong with it. I just it's just not usually what I would order. I need but to this back thing up. You liked was it. Outrageous. This was outrageous. Back it up. Seafood yeah. club. Yes. How many rules did it violate by being a seafood club? How many of Steve's rules? Well, again, I because I normally <laughs> just eat seafood alone, I would uh, probably woo, not eat woo. that sub, right? I, or the, the club. I would probably not order that, right? But, because I would just like my shrimp, just just the shrimp. However, that was quite a cocktail. Would you break Would you break your rules and order a seafood club? I might now. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Does Damn. This, is yeah. this is this <laughs> causing the question? Calling the question. But see, every if, aspect of but your life. But here's the deal. I could get that ribeye or that rockfish because I would. They were all good, but I think the ribeye and the rockfish were even better than the club. So I'd probably still go for one of those or something. They they have group. The group is great. There's so many great things on the menu. Their wings are good. I have not had their wings. Get I the rockfish wings about sometimes. That a lot. Sometimes. We're going to we're gonna have, to, we're gonna have to get the wings. I right. just think they're great because I really think they're they're not just an awesome new seafood restaurant with a great atmosphere, but they're also... An awesome new carryout location. Also awesome new carryout. <laughs> but they really seem to be beautifying that part of Main Street, like revitalizing it. Right. It's a much bigger effect than just a new restaurant. Right. And it's it's near... It's critical mass between them and Mediterraneans and the Arts Center, which has been around for a little while. Yeah. You know, over time, this that that could become like a second part of Main Street that's like commercial. Yeah, and I think they get credit for that. <clears throat> so, what Rock Salt sponsored this podcast? What 
what what are the results of their sponsorship? In other words, what are we talking about today, other than our sponsor, Rock Salt? Okay. That's oh, we, the whole show, you mean? Yeah. Well, no, we're not going to talk. I'd like to talk about that the whole time. We're canceling the show. I could just talk about that peanut. I didn't know they had a peanut butter bomb. I didn't know what a peanut butter bomb was. All I can think about is that peanut butter bomb right now. Yeah. It was good. So uh, I will be, um, well, we've been be ba- researching we, that. Recently, we've been bagging on certain communities, essentially, because there's just been amusing things that have bubbled up that we wanted to comment on. And Randy, it seems like you had some stuff with, uh, there's some trollish activity that was trolls, trolling, trolls, trolling, trolls, all the way down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this guy on Westminster <laughs> Online Light, he posted a picture of Serena Williams and started making fun of how she looked, like, in a very not cool way, like, mm. in a very... Uh, and, it was, and it was, he took the picture of her when she was in her tirade. In the middle of her tirade, her face was contorted. It was, like, a really bad, bad picture of her. But he was very cruel... To any, talking about any female, any human, nobody should have said this. Now, his name was a little bit uh, anonymous, so he took it upon himself to, to upset people and try to make waves. Didn't he have, I don't, I don't like Abby, didn't he have vape in his name? Wait, this, this is the good part. Okay. So, I'm thinking, well, you know, good, good job pissing people off on social media and getting attention, because that's very difficult to do. That's quite a feat to do that. This is called sarcasm, everybody. <laughs> A little humor 101. Yeah. <clears throat> Just for y'all, you people that are new. So all he was trying to do was get all this negative attention and, and upset people, and he was, he was uh, getting a lot of joy and pissing people off. Okay, as trolls do. But, and I realize I'm giving him attention now. However, there's more to the story. I don't think he knows how to listen to a podcast. Uh, he might not know. <laughs> he, he is very much an idiot, and he is an idiot <laughs> because somebody pointed out then in his profile, he owned a vape business. Like, he sold vape juice or something. Like, he was trying to make that his, his, uh, his uh, living. So, as you know, as a, all three of us are business owners, you'd never go out there and personally attack people when you have a business behind you that you're trying to grow and protect. And as a result of that, he pretty much disappeared off of all of social media all of a sudden. Really? But you can run and you can't hide. From Carol Worldwide. That's the enthusiasm I'm looking for. There you go. I knew Carol Worldwide was a punchline, but I forgot what the connecting word was. It was from. It was from. Steve, Steve with the big save. Can't word. hide to from a wet. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Me, to. Carol Worldwide. So, so that, that's that story. But, there, but, but no, there was more because then there was like this. Uh, these people comment, like people were started commenting on each other's appearances, basically being like, "You're ugly. You shouldn't comment on her appearance." Yeah, somebody pointed out that this guy both was, about him and this about guy other was people, a real troll himself. And then other other you said other people started attacking. Yeah, each some other. women were attacking each other about being ugly. This basically became like bash people for being ugly. Super Bowl, right? I, I very 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 interesting highlights one of the reasons why I just like to sit on my ivory tower and watch all the plebs. And then somebody posted a link to his website or his business or something. And then his all of his sudden, Facebook name had vape in it. Yeah, yeah, his Facebook name had vape in it. And it was part of his business, but he didn't separate the two. And the didn't noble take... art of vaping. <laughs> and the noble art of vape trolling. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he got ran out. I think he got scared and deleted everything. Did he go to West Philadelphia? Um, go to Bel Air? Yeah, he used to live with his auntie and uncle in Bel Air. <laughs> okay, I mean... <laughs> No, he went to Bel Air. He was born, born and raised, raised born in West West West. Right. Yeah, so love. Yeah. Yep. White people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got something that's not on the list, but I'm going to hit you with it, right? But back to our favorite segment. Is Randy Basic? <laughs> okay. White people stuff. Uh, is wearing shades on your head indoors basic? No. That's edgy. I feel like a lot of basic people wear the shades on their head, like Randy's doing right now. Huh. <laughs> well, it's sunny out. It hasn't been sunny. I haven't seen the sun in three damn days. Well, where's he going to put it? You're going to put them on your head? You're gonna Am I going to get croquis? I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm not saying I don't do it. Do you I know don't... what croquis are? No. Wow. I'm old. Do you? Like Jim Croce? <laughs> I don't You know who Jim Croce is, but you don't know what croquis are. They're those, uh, those rubber things that you could like, you put them around, they go around your head and you can wear them around your neck. Like Rex Specs? Like what they hold up Rex specs like uh, I don't know what Rex 90s Bulls Horace Grant had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay, okay. I've seen those before. Okay. But that's definitely not basic. That's like way nerdy, right? Yes. Or you're a surfer because you don't want to lose them in the surf. Yeah. Okay. There's some, there's a few utility reasons. Yes. But, okay. So no one thinks that's basic. I, I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> 
okay. It's not whether you're okay or not because I do it too. But like the question uh, I, is, is I don't think the it's question, basic? No. There's one rule of the game you got to answer. Is Randy basic? No. Yes, but his glasses aren't. Whoa. Not on this. Not on this element. <laughs> Randy, is this a basic move by you? I shaved my legs for this. <laughs> So you're already saying no. Is it a basic? Yeah, okay, I'll say it's basic. I don't, I don't know an edgy thing. way to handle my sunglasses. Hmm. I'm not fashion forward. I'm not even sure. I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna abstain because I brought up the question. <laughs> but it just it just it just you're gonna abstain question. and you brought it up. You are the ultimate troll. <laughs> you stirred things up and now you're gonna wash your hands of a Pontius Pilate, huh? Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna get biblical up in here. <laughs> Do you want to make a Jew joke about me, Jesus? <laughs> that was the most. Layered joke I've ever heard. <laughs> good. You don't need to make a Jew joke about me, Jesus. <laughs> so, and then, with or without the comma, it works. <laughs> I, I really fire on all cylinders. We also had more drama. I think like the day we recorded, more drama erupted in EOC. There, oh, the, was, there was a the, bloodless coup. Well, one of the one of the ad- admins, I believe, quit. Just stepped down. Which, I, by the way, can't blame her for that, right? No, I think that was the smartest thing she's done to date. It seems like I, I don't know. She slept a full night, I bet, <laughs> after that. Maybe for a fortnight. And then I saw a screenshot of one of the other admins, who's from <laughs> Columbia, I think. Ooh, what going, are you even doing in here? You what are you even doing in, in Eldersburg? <laughs> going off about how she hates the channel, and she, I mean, every single, am I, you saw it, every single cuss word. Even the $10 ones were in there. The C word, the F word, multiple times. Well, um... I think I, I Thanks for not actually saying those words that I don't have to Yeah, you'd be, you, oh, it, it would be like, it would sound like an 80s synth pop song with all the beeping you'd be doing. <laughs> so, a good 80s synth pop reference. But the thing that struck me wasn't the swear words, but the wall of text. It was just like un. It was too many words. It's no paragraphs. And I, didn't, I didn't read it. <laughs> Grammar was the most disgusting part of it. I mean, I just like, I don't know how long you've been on the internet, but I'm not going to read a wall of text that's on, like, Undelineated, yeah. like I'm not reading 55 sentences, not no tabs, no paragraphs. So, and didn't I just say if you're going to be an admin, don't get into it with the users? And what does this person do? Attack all of her users in the entire group together. And I believe the whole group now is shut down due to lack of interest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since I don't rip RIP EOC, uh. Hmm. Interesting. Since I don't go on all these things, I don't know for a fact if you're lying or not. Uh, I assume you are, though. Uh, I fake saw, news. Who knows? Speaking of fake news, I saw a fake news post about the hurricane where someone put up a fake like link that like schools were closing because of the hurricane. Yeah. But it, they're not. Yeah. I was just like, I guess that was just a pure troll move. It was. It was a good one. It was a good I, one. And plus, it was supposed to be. I think the hurricane was supposed to hit Saturday. So school Maryland went. really folded up quick. We canceled the wine festival over this. We, thing? The state of emergency by the by the governor. And you know what? Where's the mayor? Where oh, was the mayor? the mayor? I don't know why I didn't have comment on that. <sighs> no comment. Just very absentee recently. Or he knew it was going to occur. Or he was so strong he pushed it away. He he bench pressed it away. <laughs> I thought he was more of a squat guy. <clears throat> Both. Uh, yeah, it depends on the day. He deadlifted. He can do it all. He yeah. deadlifted the hurricane away. There you go. I'm pointing to Lions Club. Yes, you well, told me to say. Something I'm waiting about that. for the segue. The uh, the new segue is no segue. That was. Um, that was by good. the way, the uh, Rock Salt does have their um, their desserts at the carryout location. Have, so you anybody just, you just research this. Anybody can walk up. Yes, anybody can walk up to to that little place and get a peanut butter bomb right now. Right well, now. Right this now. But you second. love them so much. Are you going to be the next reason they shut down? Are you going to be out? Maybe the next reason they shut down. Well, because that location is cursed. That carryout location always is shutting down. So you're going to be up there jonesing for peanut butter bombs, scaring away paying customers. Listen, I think it wasn't cursed. I think it is what it is, and the people that were there didn't want to withstand it. They can't withstand the hurricane of the of the mentally departed. I think Rock Salt can withstand the siren song of the that mentally departed screams. I can. And you're not going to. Can you? Can you? I mean, I don't. Can you, Steve? Can you, Dennis? I've never run a business there, but are but you're not going to be a problem with these peanut butter bombs. Oh, I'm definitely going to be a problem with these peanut butter bombs. <laughs> I'm telling you that. All of Westminster will see you me look out there. Like, you look like you have a problem right now. You I look do. like you're an addict. Uh, okay, fine. Well, <laughs> hey, is being an addict basic? No. Hmm. It's very cutting edge. I think a functional addict is pretty basic. You're like a functional hmm. alcoholic. Like, oh, wind me up. And it's like oh, three gosh. o'clock. <laughs> Damn it. There's no escape. <laughs> I mean, look, just embrace it. You know what your Halloween costume can be. Oh, I can't wait for this. Basic what? bitch. Basic bitch. That's funny. Okay. And your wife can go as a bro. 
<laughs> wife will go as a bro, like a douchebag. Yeah. Like, but do douchebags hook up with basic bitches? Like, what is the male c- c- uh, counterpart of a basic bitch? We need to figure that out. And don't say Randy Goldstein either. Is it a bro? I think it's a bro. Uh, nah, because I'm thinking a bro is more, is more Jersey Shore. I think bro more like fraternity, bro. A fraternity guy 30 years later. Well, yeah, you like are still like you on the weekends you wear. Like, he's functionally alcoholic. Yeah, he's and functionally cat alcoholic. Backwards and your own modern shirt that's maybe a little size too small. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have anyone in mind. Beer gut. Maybe. Glasses on the head. Glasses <laughs> on the head. Damn it! <laughs> Uses product on their hair. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I got product on my hair. Uh, me, I, I forgot to get it out though. Uh oh. Yeah. All right. I, I have an that, arsenal of pro hair products. There's a there, there are hair rules. You know? <laughs> I, oh, you got hair yes. rules? Yes. And I bet we have the same rules. Okay. Let's hear them. What are your rules? When I no no I can't go there. Can we go into this? PSA? I think mine. I don't think mine are that titillating. Really. Can I say titillating? Well, mm-hmm. I don't do anything with the hair gel until I let it sit for a minute, and then it. Be, what sits your it hair? Gets, no, the the gel. Yeah. And then it gets to this critical point that yeah. I put in quotes where it's very pliable and I can do whatever I want. So you put the gel in. You just and have then a, I let it sit. You just have a big lava stuff. How in long your do hair? you let it sit? Maybe four or five minutes. Really? Because I think. So you're like walking time, around with big like blob on your head. No, no. I, you, you work it in. Yeah. But then you but let but it then sit. You, then you this let is, it sit and then you style it. Yeah. Oh, so you so your hair. Is gelled, but not yet fixed. Right there, you go. And this is the worst conversation. I'll have to try that. My my only thing is, I, I'll actually do it all in is one Randy fell basic? swoop. <laughs> this is important. This is important. <laughs> so it, it, I put usually fifteen to twenty seconds into my hair. Oh, I know what I with that. <laughs> but then, hopefully, I can wait about an hour to an hour and a half at least for it to dry. And then I just kind of put yes. my hands through it and get out the gel so you don't know there's product in my hair. I forgot to do that today. And the best hair days are when I can wait five, six hours to do that before I have like a meeting. Wait a second. Out. You're up six hours? Your hair day has already begun, my friend, six hours after. No, 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 no. no. Wait, wait. So, no, I, no, I gel it. And then I can, if I can wait five or six hours to, to get the gel out. Cold winter great, days. It's a great hair day. Are the best for that. And I, don't, I can't say I've noticed that. You guys I, should start a gel podcast. I've Jesus got Christ. spreadsheets <laughs> of data. <laughs> and that, what, you, what you're talking about is something I call the break. It's yeah. when you can break it, and then you look like you have regular hair again. Mm-hmm. Wow. Can we cut this? The, the no. Only, the, no. <laughs> no. The only thing, it just has to be dry in order to break it. Yes, but the break The longer the it's dry, though. The longer oh, it's dry, sure. the better you it'll turn out. You guys should probably go to Westminster you, Barber Shop and how, get some How often do you wash your hair? Located at the uh, Town, town Mall, Mall Westminster, Westminster, seven days a week, smoke free. Yeah. yeah. How Every day. Every oh, day, twice a day. No, you don't. You wash yes, your hair do. twice a day. Yeah. What? After the That's gym and in hair. the morning. That's not good for your hair. Hmm. Okay. You can go two to three days. It'd be better for your hair. And when it yeah, gets yeah, but before I put in gel, I put in a little tea tree oil. Really? Yeah. This is getting that real sheen. intense. Is that what that is? <laughs> we have a uh, a PSA for you. <laughs> Lions don't concern themselves with the opinions of sheep. That's right. <laughs> Roar. I don't have a man button though, so. Thank you. I don't Thank think we you. allow man buns on this podcast. No. That's good. So anyway, tell me your PSA. <laughs> We're 18 minutes in, though, so we should Yeah, probably, okay. Uh, so Friday, to go. Friday, September 28th, is the fifth annual Freedom District Lions Club Fall Golf Tournament. It's 85 bucks a golfer. You get lunch. And we're not cart. getting paid for this. No, it's a PSA. So we Public just, service announcement for a We're non-profit. servicing the community. We're servicing the community. We're just going down the community and helping them out. We're helping out the community. Okay. We're, give, we're giving back. <laughs> we're giving them, giving them some PSAs. So real quick, you get lunch cart, greens fees, prizes, and a steak dinner. So you get lunch and a steak dinner. You can drink beer, play golf. The deadline is September 24th. They're looking for business sponsors. So go to the Freedom District Lions Club website and uh, sign up, register before Which the 24th. Which golf course is that? It is, I don't know. It's all on the website. Go to the website and find out. Who did their website? Not me. Not my company. Not me. Not bizmarquee.com. And not not Westminster Barbershop located in Town Hall, Westminster. They're really diversifying if they're building websites. Seven days a week, (laughs) smoke-free, beer and barbershop. Uh, Okay. So, (laughs) we got ourselves... Rock salt. No. Hair gel. No. We got ourselves into something. Right? Oh. We said we we're going to do fantasy community Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right? And we, we decided to limit it to the Westminster Online community. That's where we started. That's where we're going to do. <laughs> Sorry. What are you 
trying to do over here? So <laughs> we each had our four categories and uh, we went through and tallied it. And uh, and I'm not even making these numbers hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold on. This is something. Ready? I believe the score is Steve Lowe. Do you have zero points? I think I do. Zero points. For now, though. Randy, 21 points. Dennis, 1,641 <laughs> points. I just ran laps around you. That is just a complete and utter blowout. Mm. It's, okay, well, it's, well, it's week one. It's week one, right? right? Championship. It'll be the EAK one. Yeah, better move think, it up because I just. I don't think the public knows how the scoring works, though, so you get this week. But so I like how Dennis tallied the numbers, and that those are what he came up with. Yeah. And we ended up with nothing. Yeah. Maybe That's we should sh- audit this. We need an audit. You should absolutely audit the organization. I, 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 yeah. Hey, in the interest of full disclosure, <laughs> I provided links prior to this uh, this uh, podcast, so mm-hmm. anyone could have audited it. So I have one question. For the, I have West um, business like cheers raves like positives. When they do the ISO threads and they're talking about good businesses, I counted that as a business cheer. Like a, a rave because people are saying use these people there. No, good. that's not a po. That no, that you're ta- you're talking about. Someone says I, I need a good something. No, oh, I don't think we should count those. That's not a rave. That's not a rave. But people are commenting on their reviews. But the post isn't a rave. Oh, the I post see. has I see to be a rave, saying, and then the comments. Uh, but the count comments. For the com- but the, it was. I'm looking for a good something. Nobody's raving. That's they not a rave. So if they rave, that's a question. That's, that's a recommendation. Well, you guys should have overruled it beforehand. I got sixteen hundred forty-one <laughs> points this week, and you should be not asleep at the wheel. Wait next a minute. Week. That was only one of them. Uh, oh, how many? But how many comments were there? Seventeen hundred. No, well, that, that was one post. So I had like seven scoring things. I had a business rave. I had uh, people criticizing, and talking about schools, uh, the paddling thing. We didn't even talk about that. There was this post but that, about that didn't fit into any. So I had school as mine. Okay, yes, yes, that, that would be a school complaint, yes. Yeah, okay. we're not but, paddling. Oh, and that's Hate Kids! Yeah, that was a Hate Kids one. <laughs> yeah, we Hate Kids one paddling, so Steve, I'm giving you 700 points for that. Now Damn it! Now I'm, what, what's the score now? Well, you're still at 11, nothing changed. <laughs> you gave me 700 points. No, he's got, the, he's got the schools one, doesn't he? Yeah. I got schools and he's got Hates Kids. Got right, so what does Steve have now? 700 points, and I have 1,641. And what do I have? 11. <laughs> You're still losing by a long shot, but I'm penciling Yay. myself in as the winner. That's fine for this week. So what we're going to do is whoever wins the cumulatively most weeks wins the right. race. So this so is you've one got week for one. you. Right. I'm up one nothing because if you right. guys are up, I don't want to yeah. demoralize Look. you that badly. Look, this isn't this we isn't that kind that. of game. I'd like to put a motion on the floor that we do not. You need, uh, Robert was order. You need a second. I, well, we we, need, we also need ten people. <laughs> Touche. So. so um, <laughs> I think that we should not include any th- any of the recommendations, because that's like well, what the groups are about, and you'll you'll just crush well, everybody. That's fine. Oh, you have local business rage. So if somebody asks for a recommendation and somebody says, "Hey, I'd like to use ABC right. towing," and one person says, "I love them," they and somebody suck. else says, "I hate them," right. well, what we both really, get points and I get nothing. Is all yeah. of us should have We're realized that. that ISOs should have been a really high draft pick. I mean, let's say say who has the best hair gel, and then but if I say something, I don't get any. Points no, your comment, uh, your comment, and any children of those comments don't count. Mm. We're not trying to like freeze ourselves out of like actually using these community forums for something useful. Oh, I don't. I just observe anyway. Observe like a. Observe and do not engage. You engage. Eh, when I post you, these things. No, but you you comment on things. Okay. You comment. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to take my victory lap. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. I, I'm very, very proud of myself. I looked Wednesday afternoon, so I missed maybe five days worth of stuff. Like mm. You guys could have had things in, but I assume that you are kind of paying attention. Oh, pay, paying close attention. Yeah. Steve, yeah. name one thing you saw this week. Oh, what's your fantasy team name for this, Steve? I don't know. You didn't name your team. That's just you picking things. Did, mm. did, did we each name a team? I don't. Even yeah, remember. we did. We, we named our team last week. We did. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Damn it! I'm slow on the uptake. There. I saw someone talking about Yellow Jackets, and there were a lot of. Did you see that? It was yeah. fairly recent today. It was. I think someone's so. observing that there are Yellow Jackets. You're looking there. right now. Actually, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> You're but I could on probably. Your well, I did. I called it up just to track a little. Oh, there's bit that of the teacher. <clears throat> yeah, there's. 
the there's te- a teacher? The kid schools. touching teacher. Schools. Oh. Schools. schools? Oof. That's uh, tough stuff. And kids. Ooh. Wait, Wait a minute. <laughs> no, the scoring's closed. I win. <laughs> We can save that for next week. Ah. We, we can talk about fun subjects. We do hate kids, but we probably hate child molesters more so far. That's the big paradox, yeah. And we're not going to make any comments about protecting the predators. That's that's for the defunct <laughs> Eldersburg group. <laughs> to protect the predator. So we're uh, 25 yeah, I got, minutes. Yeah, I got a lot of good comments. One yeah. person really. <laughs> we should probably uh, continue this next week. What are we at? 25 and a half. That's not bad. <laughs> Everybody go to Rock Salt this weekend. Definitely. Yep, you get yourself a peanut butter bomb. Damn, mm. get, get a ribeye and a peanut butter bomb, and you walk out feeling great. Yeah, it's like health food. Yep, yep, for your soul. Yes, souls are funny things. Steve's giving me the look, but I'm just not wrapping this up. <laughs> nope, not gonna do it. Well, okay. And we'll don't just... forget about the. Uh, um, I already forgot about it. my my <laughs> my short term memories. The Lions Club golf tournament on the twenty eighth, twenty fourth. Do you know what golf is? I think so. You have, I you don't have, play golf. You only have a rudimentary idea about football. So I, I don't. Sure. <laughs> I don't watch football and I don't play golf. That's two negatives against being basic. A Girl, basic guy would be all but we're not go football. You're a basic guy. We never called you a basic man. We no, called you a basic bitch. bitch. Oh, so you're 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 making me more female. Well, that's always been the argument. Isn't that what a bitch is? Hmm. Okay. That's some heavy stuff. I'm Dennis Twig. <laughs> I'm Randy Goldstein. I'm Steve Lowe. Bye. Bye.